Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Polly channel. This video I want to share about review for Sea Monster Zone Margoria Pirate Fleet. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay. After 6 September 2023 maintenance update, we just got new update for new sea monster Margoria Pirate Fleet. And this Margoria Pirate Fleet located at Margoria Sea, especially near this Fell Realm at this area on map. And this is any item that can be dropped when you defeating any Margoria Pirate Fleet monster. And I will show you more detail about all this item on this video. As you can see, when I try to go to this area, I just using my Karak Valor. And my Karak Valor equipment is not fully gear. I just use blue gear cannon plus 7 and all other gear still green grade. And when you meet this Margoria Pirate Fleet on this location, you will see this ghost ship in single form. But if you go near this location, this notification will appear. Your location has been found by the Margoria Pirate Fleet. The Pirate Fleet is approaching. And when you see this notification, another 5 pirate ship will spawn behind this Margoria Phantom Battleship. And mechanic for this monster, you need to decrease this Margoria Phantom Battleship, the main ship from this monster zone, to become 50%. But be careful, this Margoria Phantom Battleship will spawn to pieces, small self-destruct ship that will charge to your ship and explode when crashing on your ship. And damage for this self-destruct ship bit larger that got shoot from another pirate ship. But this self-destruct ship you also can shoot it and destroy them before go near to your ship. And after this main ship, Margoria Phantom Battleship reach 50%, this ship will sunk into the deep ocean and you need to clear another 5 pirate battleship to make the main ship appear again to the surface. And after you clear all these 5 battleship, this main ship will spawn again and you just need to defeat it to clear this group of monster. So total from one encounter, you will get 6 times drop from this 6 monster. And when I test to grinding on this Margoria Pirate Fleet, your ballot can be replenished by using this Lost Cannon Supply Box. But take notice this Lost Cannon Supply Box have expired time 1 hour after you get it. And this Lost Cannon Supply Box only can be dropped from the main ship Margoria Phantom Battleship after you defeat it. And to use this Lost Cannon Supply Box, you need to open your ship menu and press plus button on this Cannonball Capacity. And just use this Lost Cannonball Supply Box to refill your ship Cannonball. And its Lost Cannonball Supply Box will give you 150 Cannonball for your ship. So make sure you use them to resupply your cannonball when grinding on this Margoria Pirate Fleet. And in my experience test this monster zone, the shortage resource come from my ship ration or its fuel. Because from cannonball resource, we can resupply it using lost cannonball supply box that I already show you before. And damage from this Margoria Pirate Fleet is not too high compared with Crocodile, Saltwater Crocodile Monster Zone more painful than this Margoria Pirate Fleet. So you need to manage your ship ration carefully when you grinding on this Margoria Pirate Fleet. And to reduce consumption for your ship ration, I recommend you to do backward shooting like I do using focus fire. So you just need to hold S and A or D and then press Q or E to shoot your cannon using focus fire continuously like I show on my screen. And this is will make your grinding on this Margoria Pirate Fleet more efficient when consuming your ship ration. But the problem when grinding on this monster zone is to grouping any ship on this area. And also so many times, you will got disrupted by Candidium that also scatter on this monster zone. And because damage from this Margoria Pirate Fleet is not too high, I think you also can use lower tier ship than Karak. But for sure efficiency when you grinding using Karak more higher than another low tier ship. And to reduce consumption for your ration, I didn't recommend you to use any seller when you want to grinding on this area because your ship seller will consume so much ration when you grinding on this area. Maybe you can bring one piece sailor to level up that sailor because on this monster zone will give you high sailor experience. 
And another one problem that I face when I testing on this Margoria Pirate Fleet is to get its loot because when you success to defeat any ship on this Margoria Pirate Fleet, I feel very hard to see any last location when that Margoria ship is sunk. So make sure you loot any item that drop from any battleship that you defeat before you forget where that exact location. Maybe in future is better if Prebis give some a catching notification like yellow pillar for any monster that already defeat to spot its last location. And special drop from this Margoria Pirate Fleet is Margoria Pirate Sailing Journal. Actually, this item is special item that you can use it to level up your sailing level of your character. And as you can see, when I try to using this Margoria Pirate Sailing Journal, actually my sailing level character is Master 12, 55.49%. And when I use this item, and confirm it, as you can see my sailing level just increased 0.01% and this increasing sailing experience is not too much because my sailing level already too high. But I think if you using character who have low sailing level, this item will increase your sailing experience more higher than mine. And in my experience testing this Margoria Pirate Fleet, in one rotation I only can defeat 6 until 7 group monster in one run before my ship ration is depleted. And the nearest location from this Margoria Pirate Fleet is Crones area that located on this area that have work on this Crones. But this is up to you if you want to resupply on Oquila A. But the nearest location is Crones area. And when I test it on this Margoria Pirate Fleet, it's rotation when I success to kill 6 group of monster and then go back to Oquila A or Crones, this is will take around 20 until 30 minutes. So in 1 hour you can do 2 times rotation and this rotation include resupply time to rough manager. And this is total item loot that I got from around 1 hour grinding on this Margoria Pirate Fleet using my Karak Valor. Actually, by seeing this number, this Margoria Pirate Fleet didn't give so much silver for your gain. And in my experience, its rotation, I just got at least one piece most covered map. This is material to get a band root null. And also so many sea crystal, either Cerny crystal, and Eltro crystal. So I think function for this Margoria Pirate Fleet monster zone. I very recommend you to grinding on this area if you aim for a band root null by collecting this most covered map and also if you want to get any kind of sea crystal as alternate monster zone then like Rasan. And this monster zone also will give you high sailor experience. So this is great monster zone to level up your sailor but I recommend you to only bring one sailor to maximize efficiency for your ration consumption. But sadly, this monster zone didn't drop any blue gear ship material like on like Rasan Monster Zone or at Sea Water Crocodile. And when you grinding on this Margoria Pirate Fleet, this monster zone is affected with item collection increase gouts or loot scroll, but will not affected by Agris Fever. So your Agris Fever point will not drop when you killing any monster on this Margoria Pirate Fleet. Okay, that's all my review about this Margoria Pirate Fleet Monster Zone. And the rest of this video, I will show you my video footage when I test this Monster Zone. So you can know more detail the process when I testing this Monster Zone on Margoria Pirate Fleet.
And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Bebu, Detraki, Snot, Soren, Afrilka, Elfamilia, Devil Soul of Dime Miller, Drunken Video, Jeff S. Gold member. And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all my review about Margoria Pirate Fleet Monster Zone. Hope all this information can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.